welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here my name is cheryl i love decorating my home with style on a budget and i love to try to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is so if you love home decor and you love decorating your home with style on a budget then this is the channel for you and if you have not already subscribed i would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button tap the notification bell and become a member of the i style my style family I want to thank you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart with all, for all of the love and support that you gave my last couple of videos. I have been talking to you guys on how to refresh your homes for summer. You don't have to do huge major renovations. You can do really small changes to give your home a refresh for summer. And you guys love those videos. You showed them so much love and I greatly appreciate all the support. If you missed any of those videos, I did a refresh, a DIY refresh here in my front entryway foyer. It's just like right as you come in the door. And I also did a refresh here on my entryway hallway. Look how good that looks. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I did it. It makes such a bold and dramatic statement here in my home. And we did it using a little paint. It was a no spend upcycle. Those are the best kind that I absolutely love. And it just, I don't know, it just creates a whole new vibe here in my home and I absolutely love it. You guys did as well. So thank you so, so much for all the love and support in the comments on those videos. So yesterday kicked off, was it yesterday? I believe so, my ears itching. So, so yesterday kicked off the first day of summer. So I thought it would be fun to give you some decorating ideas on how to style your coffee table for summer. So I'm thinking maybe three or four, I'm thinking of maybe three or four decorating ideas for you to use. So if you were looking for some summer coffee table decor inspiration, then make sure you continue watching. And again, if you enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe by the end of the channel. I would so love to have you. So I told you guys for summer, I mainly use greenery in my decorating. For spring, I like to do lots of florals, but for summer, I like to use more greenery than flowers. So today's video, we are going to be using some greenery. I think that's one of the elements that you need to have on your coffee table for summer as well as some candlelight. I love to have a really good smelling candle on my coffee table. Also, I would love to have coffee table books. When your guests come in, you wanna sit down, they can pick it up, start flipping through it. I think it's also a conversation starter, so I love to have coffee table books on my coffee table. And just, just a beautiful random, I like to call them chotskis, um, just to give it a little style. So today we are going to be doing a modern summer um, coffee table decor styling. We're going to do a coastal caustic, <laughs> a coastal coffee table decor styling. Then we're going to marry the two together and do a combination. And then the fourth, well, just going to be a wild card. And we're going to put all of this together using what we have. So this is a no spin summer coffee decorating ideas video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're in my loft. As a lover of home decor, you always have a lot of home decor in your stash to pull from. So you guys know I love using black, white, and green, and that is what you are seeing here today. So this vase I recently picked up from CB2. It was over the Memorial Day weekend. I picked up this little baby 
for less than $18. Absolutely love it. Always shop when there's a holiday. You will get the most bang for your buck. I think this little guy is now $30, maybe even $40. But yeah, I picked him up for less than 20. This little piece here, um, I think it's a Grove collaborative piece. It normally came in like a copper color. I didn't like it, so I spray painted it black. I love the detail on this, so I have pulled that out to use. We all know about the infamous Studio McGee little marble tray. Um, it was $25, it's actually a little marble bowl. Um, then I have these little tchotchkes um, that I figured we could use. I don't even know where I got these. These I might, might came from thrifting, but I have a larger one here as well as this smaller one. And I think I need to paint them because they are discoloring. We have coral over here as well to use in our coastal theme as well as this bowl. It's not really coastal per se, but it's kind of giving me like a coral vibe. I thought this would be good in a coastal theme or a modern theme, and I picked this up from Ross. It was $10.99, we haven't used that yet. Uh, this little greenery piece came from Target. It was $5, I just love how this looks. I style these around my house a lot, and it's a price that you can't beat, especially for the quality. Just look at that. Love, love, love. And then these granary stems, um, sorry, I'm out of breath, I ran up the stairs. These granary stems I picked up from Amazon, and they look like this. Again, really vibrant and green in color. I think they will be perfect for summer. So I brought these out. I also have this greenery piece, which is a combination of stag fern and regular fern. And then I have this just styled in a DIY bowl that I did using uh, chalk paint and baking soda, but I thought this would look really good for summer. You guys remember, these little candle holders that I thrifted, I wanna say they were a dollar and either 25 or 50 cents a piece. We have this little decorative box that I picked up from Amazon I thought would be perfect. And then we have a candle here that I picked up from West Elm. Um, this says it was $46. I picked it up when it was on sale and I wanna say I got both of these candles for less than $25. Yeah, great, great deal. Uh, again, always shop when there's a sale. And then of course we have the coffee table books that I mentioned earlier. This one, I love <laughs> a good story. And this one is Mrs. Peregrine's The uh, Peculiar Children series. I know you're thinking, Cheryl, you're a grown ass woman. Yeah, but I like little things like this. So I like to also put coffee table books on my table that I am actually interested in. And this is one of those. And then we have the white book and our Vanity Fair book. Both of these came, well, this one came from, I believe it was from Home Goods. Yep, 1999. And then this one came from Amazon and it was $49.99. So we are going to be working, as I said, on my coffee table. Oops, my coffee table here in the loft. I know you guys haven't been here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, and I'm supposed to be giving you a makeover up here, and it is coming, guys. It's coming. I gotta get a few more things, but then we'll put it together. But let's go ahead and start styling out our coffee table. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is wipe down our coffee table. Make sure we start with a clean surface. And I'm just using 
simple Mrs. Myers wipe down our table. Now that that's all clean, let's start with our largest objects first. And we're going to do the modern decor style first. So we're going to start with our coffee table books. So again, black and white. I think what I'm going to do though is take the cover off of the books. And we're going to set those aside. We're just like working the books without the cover on them. look how pretty this book is so so pretty all right so here is our largest decor piece which is our coffee table books and the orientation matters so I could put them this way which gives me more space on the table I could turn them catty corner gives us less space on the corner on the coffee table so I want to have more space because I want to add more things. So we're going to turn them sideways like so. Then we are going to bring in our vase from West Elm. This greenery I recently picked up from the at-home store. I showed you guys that as well in a video. If you missed that, I will leave that link in the description box down below. It's like a mini little mini haul. So I could leave the vase like this on the table, but I think I actually want to put it on the books and then center it like this. Or like this. And then I want to add a decorative box. This box will hold our remotes, keeps them hidden but it makes the table look chic. And then we are going to bring in our candle that we got on clearance at West Elm. Look how pretty the packaging is on this. So, so pretty. And so then I am gonna add that here in the front. Maybe turn this to the side. And then this is our first coffee table styling modern and sleek let's take a closer look for summer. Now we'll go on to our next styling. All right, so for our next look, we're going to take away this piece. I think we are going to also take away this piece. And we're going to bring in a metal element. So I want to bring in our bowl from Ross. Go ahead and take these tags off. And so I think I'm gonna set the bowl here. Or maybe I will put it here. And then I wanna bring in again some greenery. 
but I also want to use oops, our little, I guess these are like cranes. So let's set that there with the cranes and then our bowl to the side. Or maybe we won't use the bowl at all. I like to keep it simple. So we'll have our cranes and our greenery and our candle. And then we want to put our books this way. Oh, I like it better this way. And I think the one piece was a little too big. So instead of the metal bowl, we're going to put down our Studio McGee bowl and leave our candle. So this will be our second, excuse me, our second look. And this is, I'm gonna call it one of our coastal themes because I wanna change out just a few elements, but let's take a closer look. took away the little cranes and I added this piece of coral. Also gives us a coastal vibe. Again, very modern, very simple, nothing too over the top. If you love or want to do a coastal theme in your home, do it with small, simple elements and it will make a very dramatic impact like you see here on my coffee table. Absolutely love it and this will be look number two of our coastal coffee table decor style. So for our next look, we're going to change out the greenery. So we're going to get rid of this one and we are going to bring in this greenery. Again, I absolutely love this and this is just a regular fern that I picked up from Amazon. This is a stag fern that I also picked up from Amazon. And I am simply styling the two together, just like this. And we could leave it like this, very, very simple. Or we could bring in an element with a tchotchke like this piece. I don't think I showed you this in the initial setup, but we could also add this to the table. Again, with our candle, always have to have a candle. And then this also is a very modern and aesthetically pleasing look. So let's take a closer look, shall we? All right, so we could stop there, but I'm gonna give you a little bonus look. So remember this piece that we got from the Grove Collaborative and this greenery that we got from Amazon. Anything that I mentioned that I picked up from my Amazon storefront will be linked in the description box down below and you can shop my Amazon storefront 24 seven. When you do, I do get a small commission. So I wanna thank you so much in advance. We're just gonna put this simple little greenery look together. Again, you guys know how I love to use greenery in my decor. So we can leave this here. We don't want it too near the candle. <laughs> we don't wanna burn a house down. So we can leave that here. And then I think we'll bring back this piece to go with our coffee table books. And then we could even take it a step further and add in our candle if we wanted to. 
that we picked up and take this candle away. And then we can have a modern, simple look like this. Or we could take the florals, put them here, and then pull this back, use our decorative box here with our candle, like so. And that is also a very simple and modern look. So let's take a closer look. so this is how our bonus look turned out very simple modern and aesthetic very elegant you don't have to go over the top with your coffee table styling so these are just a few ideas you can switch up your home decor in a multitude of ways to give you any type of look but I just wanted to give you a few simple summer decorating or coffee table decorating ideas if I could talk for summer. All right guys, so I hope you have enjoyed today's summer coffee table decorating inspiration and ideas. If so, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it. I love to create modern, simple coffee table design styles using greenery for summer and just a few other elements like I mentioned with the books, the candle, and your little tchotchkes. I think those three elements tie a coffee table together. And again, if you wanna bring in something seasonal like the little cranes that we used or the coral that we used to bring in a coastal summer feeling or whatever season you're in, that is one thing that you can add. So your three elements that are staples, books, candles, and florals, forgot to mention that, or greenery, and in my case this time we're gonna use greenery, and then a tchotchke is your fourth element. So yeah, that's the inspiration, guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's video and it has inspired you. And if you have not yet already subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free. I have lots of home decorating inspiration coming up, especially for those uh, friends and family members of mine, and maybe the, those of you who are new here who love decorating in the black and white aesthetic. As you can see, that's me all day, every day. So if you love that sort of style and you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the iStyle My Style family. So let's take one last look at the coffee table decor stylings for summer. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one you like best. Will you recreate it in your home or something similar? If so, tag me over on Instagram. I'm not over there a lot, but I am over there a little bit. So yeah, tag me. I might take a couple of days to get back to you, but I would love to see any inspiration that you care to share with me. So with that, my friends, let's take one last look and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.